Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hey, it's Cami Chaos, joined by my very special guest and other blog wife, Sybil Law. Hey, Sybil. Hello. And my husband, Mike, Mr. Chaos, Dr. Normal, the man of many names. Hello. Wait, and Megatron. And Megatron. <laughs> hey, Megatron. Megatron doesn't have a mic. I have an olive in my mouth, but I, I want to say something about that. So here's the thing. That's a nice name and all, but you have to have a little whimsy with it too. And Megatron, I was thinking about this in the shower today. Um, <laughs> I was thinking Megatron, you know, it's not whimsical. There's a, it doesn't mean it has to be totally whimsical, but you know, a little whimsy. I think naming it after a transformer is pretty whimsical. Really? Yeah, let me ask uh, Sybil, what do you think? Would you rather call your man? I mean, let's be clear. I call it Megatron in polite conversation, but when I'm getting it on, I'm not calling it Megatron. Right. I could not call it anything with a straight face that wasn't dirty. Understood. But would you rather call Mr. Law's man parts by something like jaunty and whimsical or something like, you know, serious and... Serious and manly. Yeah. (laughs) Just definitely. Exactly. Whimsical makes me think of like fairies. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I don't, you know. Like I the wing. Know. Yeah, the kind with wings and little sprinkling little fairy wands. And yeah, I don't think whimsical cuts it for me. <laughs> it doesn't do it for me. All I could think it's like about. Ben and Hat. <laughs> do you remember that song? <laughs> In that video. Pop Goes the World. You can dance if you want to. Oh, safety dance. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can I was, dance if you want to. I was thinking of this. I was thinking but of I Men Without Hats. Dance. No, no. Did you Get guys ever. Here. Men Without Hats. Pop Goes the World by Men yeah, Without I remember. Hats. I remember. Do. <laughs> do, do, yes. do, 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 That one. That. We, yeah. We have a recording. Of that somewhere. I used to have that on tape somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So before we started recording, Sybil was going to tell <clears throat> me a story about my birthday. Oh, yeah. I, I want to hear Okay, it. we're recording. Um, <laughs> no, I, I wanted to get you flowers. Mm-hmm. And like I sat on the computer for hours the night before and went to different flower things, you know, like FTD and the other ones. STD? You wanted to give me an STD? It's amazing. I tried, the still but they don't sell those online. On. Okay, Continue. <laughs> Mr. Chaos anyway, just tried to be funny. <laughs> I, I missed it. <laughs> no, anyway, so I was going, I looked, shopped around at all these different places, and only one place has had calla lilies. Mm-hmm. Do you know how pricey calla lilies are? There's a reason that you don't often get calla lilies unless you're dead. Dude, I was like, what the? It was a lot. They were oh, like you can say that word. Say dollars for a bouquet. Say the bad word. Fuck. Yay. <laughs> yeah, they're really, yeah. that's why I honestly think that people get calla lilies for their funeral. It's because they're so cost prohibitive that you only get them once and it's when you're freaking dead. Oh my gosh. Well, well, that wasn't even what the, the full story. So I was like, okay, I love Cammie, but I'm not going to get her the calla lilies. No, you shouldn't. So I was like, by then it was really late mm-hmm. and I was dead tired. So I just went to bed and then, um, I was like, okay, I'll just do it the next morning because almost everyone that I looked at said that they could do same day delivery as long as you ordered before two. Mm -hmm. And then we got dumped with all that snow. Oh, I remember that. The computer was down for hours. (laughs) And it was after two. Mm -hmm. By the time I got it, it was like four something by the time I could get on the computer. And I was like, damn it. So I couldn't get them delivered that day. And I was just like, I was all upset. <laughs> I'm okay. But I appreciate that you were upset for me. That means you love me. No, but I, <laughs> that just means that I owe you. Besides besides mailing Gingerbread Man, which will be mailed this weekend. Oh. And, uh, and uh, but I, I owe you for that too. Thank I just have you, to come sweetie. up with a good idea. <laughs> well, I'll just wait patiently and secretly. It's okay because you know what? I bought myself a birthday present today. 
I brought it down into the studio with me because I couldn't help myself. I got a new purse and it was so pretty that when I came down, <laughs> I had to bring it with me. I made, I, I as an excuse, I put in my new sonic screwdriver that Holly got me mm-hmm. and brought it down. And my I put my phone in it too, but I'm going to irritate the entire 16 um, point two people who will hear this in the next 110 years. And I'm, nice. going, I'm going to make this noise. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Could you hear I it? like it. I love the noise. It's the sonic screwdriver noise. And I'm so excited. I'm going to do it one more time. Are you ready? Yes. My microphone Yay. is broken. And now I've magically fixed it with the sonic screwdriver. <laughs> it lights up blue. And I can write really, really naughty notes to uh, Mr. Chaos on the psychic paper that was with it. And then you can only see it if you shine the creepy blue light on it. Really? Yeah. That is crazy. I was excited. I was very excited. It actually came the day that my mom got into town. And I didn't know it was coming. I mean, I knew that it was coming, but I didn't know when it was coming. And when my brother dropped my mom off, it was sitting on top of the mailbox. And they said, oh, look, you have a package. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. I didn't want to open it because I didn't want... Even though my brother knew it was coming, I didn't want my brother to touch it. Sorry, my brother. I didn't want, right. didn't want anyone to touch it. It was my new precious. And now every time Kay tries to touch it, I say, no, that's mine. <laughs> you got your own toys. I do. I'm like, you can't have it. It belongs to me. I'm sorry. Exactly. No, and it just happened right before I came downstairs. I caught her trying. That's probably why I brought it down <laughs> with me. I caught her trying to grab it off of the headboard. Why it's on my headboard, I have no idea. But I caught her trying to grab it off the headboard. And I said, no, that's mine. And she said, why do you have to act like it only belongs to you? <laughs> and I said, because it does only belong to me. Because life is hard. <laughs> life is that's scary. Right. Oh, that was it. Suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. handle the sonic screwdriver. <laughs> you can't Good have... Times. Good times. Um... Mr. Chaos keeps, like, making motions towards his keyboard. He just wants to show off his fancy pants recording studio stuff. Is that the truth? That or Megatron. Megatron. <laughs> no one will see it but me. Whip it out. Yeah, whip it out. <laughs> no. This is the Howard Stern show, okay? You should, like, get the yeah. microphone by a zipper. <laughs> yeah. Baby. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll get the, uh, well, no, I'm sure Mr. Chaos has some uh, porno music somewhere. He could just make it. He's he's made music before that sounded just like porno music, Isn't I assure you. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I assure you. So, what do you have going on? What do you want to talk about? You, what? You, Sybil, what do you have going on? What What I do you want to talk about? What are you drinking? Um, I am drinking a Cosmopolitan. Oh. Yeah, it's pink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm drinking a painkiller. Nice. It's my current blog drink of choice, podcast drink of choice, and Mr. Chaos is drinking another martini. Good times. Good That's times good. on a Friday night. I'm so excited that you could join us tonight. Yeah, I am too. We have a, uh, I called the police today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's something that doesn't happen all the time. Why is, um, he, it, why it, is he playing music over us? I well, feel like... She's drinking a Cosmopolitan. I'm having a martini. You're she's having telling a... telling a story. A <laughs> paralyzer, whatever. This isn't... This. I just thought, you know, we're kind of having a martini chat time, you know? Okay, but the martini chat music is over now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Save it for your show, Dr. Chaos Normal Pants. Which we already recorded part of, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did so you called the police today and then we can talk about yeah. mr dr chaos normal show no. later okay you called the police yeah it's really not over a big deal but there's these assholes that live across the street mm -hmm. and they have a trailer oh. and it's not hooked up to anything <laughs> it's like a trailer where you throw He's either a carpenter or a landscaper or something. Mm -hmm. So when he comes home with his work truck, he dumps all the waste into this thing, Ooh. whatever it is, wood, yeah. or I don't even know what it is. And then 
it sits there for months and months, like three to six months. And his wife is such a douchebag, she, like, will park in front of this trailer that never moves Mm -hmm. so that no one can park in front or behind her. Mm. And so they're they're wasting, like, two other parking spots. And Mm -hmm. when people come over to visit us, there's not enough room in our driveway for all the cars, but they have to park halfway down the street. Because you are very popular. Oh, I uh, I can't stand these people. So... (laughs) I called the cops on him today. I'm like, I've even got the plate number on the trailer. <laughs> and they're going to go out and chalk his tires. That's and exciting. Gonna get a ticket. They're going to chalk his tires. <laughs> that is exciting. I think our neighbor once did that. Our neighbor once did that. Our, our The person who owned the house before us. It sounds like the guy who, the renter guy who lived in the house before us that the neighbors hated mm-hmm. moved to Ohio. Yeah. In, does he have across big the street dogs? from you. Yeah, does he have big dogs that Does he grow people? marijuana in his basement? <laughs> that, Probably. That, 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 that's not a reference to the Chaos family. No, but we think he, <laughs> yeah. He, we think Whatever, he may you know have you've got that. your like grow lights down there. A lot of stuff. weird. No, no, we don't have the grow lights, but we do have this. <laughs> that's right. See, so, that's a lot what of really. <laughs> weird <laughs> wiring when we moved in. There was a lot of strange wiring. Why is there wiring all over here? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's well, good for you using your, your civic mindedness to call the cops and have the tires chucked. I, uh, well, that's the second time I've called them. Ooh. On the same, on local the same neighbor? Local police actually got into trouble a while ago because apparently two people that were working the evening shift, mm-hmm. they were, <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me, um, they were... Uh, like sleeping, literally sleeping on the job, and they were sitting wherever they sit in between calls mm-hmm. and playing video games, and they would ignore calls. So can I ask you a question real quick? <laughs> is it is it common knowledge on your blog where it is that you live? I can't remember. I know where I you live. I just said Midwest, but I think everybody knows. Cause it's you, Cincinnati. It's, yeah, you live in not a small town. It's not w- like some K-R-P little... In Cincinnati. Cincinnati. No, it's not like you live yep. in some little tiny town with like you know two cops on duty, and they're that's insane for a major metropolitan cop to just be sitting around. Wasn't there a Cincinnati song in the Drew Carey show too? Wasn't that set in Cincinnati? Um, that was Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, Cle- oh Cincinnati. how yeah. did I confuse? I don't those think two that's cities. acceptable. I think that was wrong of you. You should apologize to, to Cincinnati that or Cleveland. I'm, I'm not sure which, but you should apologize to one of them. Cleveland to the rock and roll place, right? No, Cincinnati, I don't know. Yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland is. Cleveland has rock and roll. Cleveland is. That's where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame mm-hmm. is. And Cincinnati has the Reds. Yes. Yes. And the Bengals. And my sister-in-law is a Bengals cheerleader. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yes. I've seen pictures. And, uh, but Cincinnati has, like, um, a lot of garage bands. I have. I've stuff. seen Boots pictures. Collins. I know. I love Bootsy Collins. Bootsy Collins. I used to see Bootsy Collins and his wife. They would ride a tandem bike down to this little pony keg. And he would wear his crazy ass costumes. Like his Like a pony keg. Like a pony keg. Like a a keg that has beer in it. Like a little store. Okay. Okay. Like the pony keg. The store or the pony keg. Like the little beer. Oh, they, they have a store called the pony keg? No, it. They call these little stores that sell beer pony cake. Okay, so because in Portland, in the northwest, a pony keg is a tiny keg, keg of beer. Mm-hmm. So I'm imagining Bootsy Collins <laughs> getting in a tandem oh. with his wife and riding like one <laughs> block down where there's somebody's got a pony keg out with a tap going, hey, all right. Can I get some? That's good. Oh, Bootsy. That wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs> that would How not old is Bootsy, though? All. Bootsy's not young right oh i mean he's got i would say 50 60s yeah 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 i mean all the time wow like you know he would wave we'd honk and wave and he'd be like hi in his crazy pimp hat and stuff it was awesome i love crazy pimp hats wow yeah so i wanted to go I, i have a subject i wanted to go back to one thing she said yeah so it's 2008. We're in the 21st century. I think we all agree with that, right? No. Do we agree? No. Mm-mm. Okay. We um, do? Okay. No, I'm not agreeing. And, you don't have to. And I want to say that 
she used the term douchebag. Douchebag. Yeah. And, and I just want to say, I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm kind of thrilled by the resurgence. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, and, you know, yes. douchebag was all over. And I'm kind of thrilled at the resurgence in the 21st century in 2008 of the term douchebag. I, I love it. I don't think the kids now that use it actually know what a douchebag is. I don't even think they know what a douche I don't even think is. they exist. I don't think. Did you know what a douche yep. was when you I mean, oh. when you were a kid and you were oh, calling people me. douchebags? Did the, you know? Yes. When you're in the third no, grade I and didn't. someone calls I somebody didn't. a douchebag and everyone goes, do you know what that is? And you all run off in a corner and say, a douchebag is. <laughs> oh, trust me. We, yeah. I, you I did quickly. not know what it was. When I was when a kid. I first started saying it, I didn't know either. No, in like fifth grade, and then I, by seventh grade, I found out. <laughs> and then it's like, oh. <laughs> but then again, back then they had Massengill commercials on. I know, all but the I didn't time. know what Massengill was. Summer's Massengill Eve or whatever. Massengill is that. a douchebag. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you smell Asport like Lily of the Valley. <laughs> <laughs> and then they found uh, out that putting vinegar in your <laughs> Hooch, just hooch in you. your vagina. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Burroughs. That's right. Um, was bad for you. <laughs> yeah, not good at all. Bad it's for not good you. For you. No, no. I, I there are very very few things I like to put in my vagina. Okay, I have a really bad image, and this may get edited <laughs> out. But I imagine that skanky girl going to the supermarket and buying like bleach and all this stuff. It's like you know, just kind of you know. <gasps> Yeah. No, when I worked at this little um, grocery store by my parents' house, some lady would come in and she was the skank of all skanks. She was just the skankiest probably skank would, ever. Like crack back then, and she Skanky was so mixgangster. She always bought douche douche things, and she also <laughs> bought um, things. yeast <laughs> creams all the time. <laughs> Ew. Ew. All the time. And I'm oh. thinking, bitch, go to the doctor no already. No shit. It's got to be cheaper to occasionally go see your uh, your gynecologist than to buy all that <laughs> douche. And All ugh. the time. I shit you not. Every time she came in, she bought that stuff. That's crazy. Or the free clinic. Yeah. That's just <laughs> yeah. icky. Last it's, week. It's uh, a on, technical term. Icky. It's icky. Last week on Strange it, Love, it. the subject is penis. This week, it's Vagina. vagina. <laughs> Hey, you know, speaking of blog blog relations, um, Mr. Fab has requested to be a houseboy. I saw that. See, I I can't remember uh, Miss Burrow's comment, but I, I do remember his because I commented right under him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think we need to talk to Holly, but I I'm okay with letting him be a houseboy. Yes, honey, we do need you a house. Have, do you have any objection to the girls getting a houseboy? No. See, he's such a good man. He doesn't care if we have a houseboy running about, bringing us painkillers and cosmopolitans. And and rubbing our feet. Oh, rubbing my feet. My feet need to be rubbed. Okay, Mr. Sure Fab, why. pending the approval of Holly, you can be our bitch. That's right. I, I'm glad you clarified that. Cause, oh, I, I will heard only her. break out the bip when necessary. Oh, I break it out all the time. Because I, okay. I, I heard her over Skype, and I thought I heard rubbing her thing. And I was like, oh, yeah. No, okay. no, feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my fantasy, yes. Your fantasy is for my blog wife to have a thing? Oh. Because <laughs> a thing kind of implies to me. Oh, you yeah. Know. That. Really, I've never called a vagina a thing before. Right. Dude, I just finished that damn middle sex book about the hermaphrodite. So I'm all wigged out by this nice. conversation now. <laughs> Really? You wrote, yeah. you wrote a hermaphrodite <laughs> book? You said you weren't much of an author. <laughs> I'm sorry, you read <laughs> hermaphrodite? No, I just finished reading it. It was what? really, the first half was so, just way too detailed, and it drove me insane. And then the second half finally got good. But it was just like, God, it, I don't know. Hermaphrodites kind of freak me out. What is this book? Is it? Fiction? It's called Middle Sex. It's fiction, yeah. Well, I think it's fiction, but I think the guy who wrote it could possibly be a hermaphrodite. I could be totally wrong. I better stop talking about it. Do you sound like me suddenly <laughs> where you just like say random things that come into your brain? Like last week when I said, <laughs> it's illegal to make lawn darts in the United States of America. That's such <laughs> bullshit. It's not illegal to make. Um, yeah, you sound like me. That's why I love you. You just say random like. Yeah. Caution things. You're like, bleh. 
That's right. Yeah. That's how I communicate. It's, it's part of my good. charm. It's really, it is nice. Not everyone's as lucky um, as we are on this podcast that if we say something really insane and horrible, <laughs> <laughs> Mike will edit it out for us. Hi, baby. Not only that, but we're drinking. I you know. I don't. I'm gonna have to slowly sip this so that I don't run out through the course of our show. I don't know. We might have to take a break because I might have to get refilled down on my martini. And That's I'm feeling sad. really nice and loungy. It's a Friday night, everybody. It Yay is for Fridays. Hey, baby, do you know how to make a painkiller? <laughs> do I? Yeah, just make Are me you talking. Hold on. No, he's going to edit this out. He's going upstairs to check on stuff. It's it's rum and coconut, right? So, <laughs> right. Mike, you're editing this part out. This is not interesting to anybody, so don't put music Did to it. Music? What is he doing? Oh. He, this part is entirely edited out. You know that, right? No. No. It is? This is not interesting. Hi, Brody. My oh. friend Brody just got and here. And now, Cami Chaos's recipe... Mm. For a painkiller. Is everyone ready to learn how to make a painkiller? I am. All right. I am. Sorry, my friend Brody just got here. Brody? Brody. Bro, oh, Brody. Hi, Brody. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm going to tell you how to make a painkiller. I'm not telling Brody, though. He doesn't get to know. Yeah, you Brody. You use two ounces of rum. Hang on. I'm writing this down. I'm trying to do the sexy, the sexy cocktail voice. Okay. You ready? What kind of rum? I'm white, ready. white or black? Black rum? Well, brown, whatever. No, spite like not the 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 brown rum. So, two ounces of dark rum, one ounce cream of coconut, one ounce orange juice, and two ounces pineapple juice. Shake well. Serve on the rock. Yum. Nice. Yeah, that's my my uh, beautiful painkiller. I think Tiki Bar TV is going to call and have you as a guest. Well, I think that everyone needs to know the most important thing about making the painkiller, though, is that you really, really need to mix the rum with the cream of coconut because if you don't mix those two first, when you pour the cream of coconut into the juice or over the ice, it will start to clump and it will be very unpleasant. Cause Ew, then you, yeah. Yeah, you get uh, clumps of coconut cream on your tongue. It's It's icky. That's what we call the 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 um, jism killer. <laughs> no, that's what we call nasty, and I won't drink it. So, bitch, go make me a drink. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What was that thing about the cream of the coconut? <laughs> so, oh, you have to mix it. So you put the rum in the cup first. Because so as you do, sometimes if I make something that doesn't turn out bad, you'll go, what did you do this? <laughs> yeah. So you mix the rum and the coconut before you, you put... you say it in the sexy bartender voice? Please be sure... To mix the rum with the coconut before adding any ice or juices. This or you'll will, end up with coconut jizz. Or you'll end up with coconut jizz. <laughs> can, can you say one one thing for me just before we I go make possibly, this for you? Possibly. Can you say, can you please put your tray tables up in your seat? You know, yeah. Please put your tray tables and seats in their full upright positions. Yeah. That, that was perfect. Thank you. I could be apparently a flight attendant. Is so that the PC I'm, word? Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go upstairs. But I think people wanna know, Cammy, and you can talk about this mm-hmm. when I leave the room. Ooh. Why it is that you have this incredible voice for podcasting <laughs> or radio. Why don't we talk about that? Okay. Why what well, I'm not sure. I was born and I have this voice. But the most important part of the whole voice thing is that when I speak normally in everyday life, I don't sound like this. There's something magical about the microphone I'm speaking into. Can we talk about jobs you may have had at one point in time and also (laughs) where you grew up? Okay, I know what he wants me to say. Yeah, come on. Phone sex line. Oh, no, I never worked for a phone sex line. Oh, you should have. No, my first job ever. no kidding. (laughs) I know. Well, I hear that a lot. My first job ever was. Trust me, the phone calls between Cammy and I when we were dating were like. Mm. We didn't have phone sex, though. You didn't. He's like, <laughs> I <did." laughs> Hello. Okay, you go make me a drink. I'll cover my employment history and where I grew up. Go, go. Schnell, schnell. You guys never even heard my uh, suggestions for the 
the uh, penis naming because I entered late. What were your suggestions? I said Devo. <laughs> oh, I remember. I don't think he saw that because he would have wanted. Wing chunk. Yeah, he would have wanted to name his penis Devo, and then I would have been like, "I'm never having sex with you again, honey." Nana. Whip it good. Do 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 do. Rock that whip. Um. So I'm going to tell everybody now while he's gone because I always do what I'm told not. Uh, yes. Why apparently? I think I just have the voice because I was born this way. However. The first job I ever had when I was 17 and I moved to Portland was as a telemarketer. I was one of those really? horrible, yeah, I was a horrible person. I called from a phone, you know, we all sat in a room together. We had a little script and we called and we talked to people and I tried to set appointments for people to view a security system. Wow. I didn't, I didn't try to sell the security system. I tried to get the salesman appointments to go to their house. Did you call between the hours of six and eight? <laughs> no. I worked the day shift. That's good. Yes. Yeah, so I was not, oh, I hate, I hate that. That's awful. No, I, yes. think, I think I got to work at nine o'clock in the morning and I got off That's... just before the dinner hour because I would have not been able to live with myself. Yeah. I can imagine how bitchy people would be though. They were bitchy anyway. It's all bad. Yeah. But when I got bored, I would use different voices and because when I was a, a real little kid, we moved to Texas. Sometimes I'd talk like this. Hi, y'all. This is Cammy from American, not going to say the name of the company. And I was just calling to see what you, if you were available, I would just talk like that. And, and the women didn't like it at all. But the men ate it up. Yes. It was lovely. Men are such suckers for anything. <laughs> the, the problem was is that if it was a married couple, you had to confirm it with both parties that it was acceptable to have the appointment they didn't want because because the big problem is they didn't want the salesman to show up when say you booked the appointment with the husband because the husband couldn't say no to your sweet little voice yeah um and then the salespeople would show up and the wife would be home and the husband wouldn't be they didn't like that they wanted to make sure that they would be warmly received wow yeah but then later, years later, I worked for an interior design and architecture firm. And yeah. it, it was interesting because I, I went through a series of jobs there. But when I first started working there, I was a receptionist. And then when I went on to become a secretary, we hired a receptionist who happened to be a very good friend of mine. And he was a man. And he had a very deep voice. And I can't do his voice because I'm a girl and I don't. But uh, he sounded like, apparently, he sounded like he should be answering the phone for a mortuary. Oh, wow. And I sounded like I should be answering the phone for a phone sex operation. <laughs> and we would have people call and occasionally they would, they would ask to speak to the other one of us because they preferred our manner of speaking. <laughs> the women loved <laughs> to listen to him talk and it was hilarious because he did sound like he was answering the phone for a mortuary and he was incredibly gay. But the women just, ooh, oh, we love you so much. I'll tell you, I like a nice, deep voice on a man. Yeah. For sure. It's nice. I mean, I don't want someone to talk like this. <laughs> but, you know, I like a masculine voice. I also like masculine hands. That's really important to me. Hands are the utmost important to me. I'm glad. Nice, not, big, manly. Not A little rough. Soft. I have to tell yeah. you, Ew. I saw the funniest thing today. We had to go um, shopping for Kay's birthday party we were doing the the finished up shopping for the birthday party I'm sure you know how that is right just to make sure everything's ready and we stopped on our way home at the only fast food that Kay is allowed to eat we stopped at Subway yes and while we were there some guy came in to pick up an order for the high school and he was like an older guy do you remember Dukes of Hazard? did you ever watch that oh hell yeah do you remember Uncle Jesse yeah okay think Uncle Jesse clean shirt overalls white long hair white beard and a baseball cap and the guy was wow but he was wearing but all clean and he was wearing flip-flops well i looked down <laughs> i i i'll be honest men i'm not very attracted to men in flip-flops no that's disgusting um i'm not a i don't i'm not a foot fetishist i i don't have a problem with attractive feet they don't make me nauseous or anything but yeah. i don't like to look at 
men's hairy feet. I think it's gross. But I, I, I glanced down at the ground for some reason, and I saw his feet, and I noticed that he very obviously had a pearlescent clear gloss on his toenails. Oh, that's so rank. And it was, no, it, he had nicely manicured, or I'm sorry, pedicured toenails. It was Maybe odd. Maybe he just had it looked, done, and that's why he had on his feet. That's what it looked like. Too. It looked like he just, and there was no hair on his feet at all. And I'm, Maybe I've just dated a bunch of hairy toed freaks, but most of the men that I've been around barefoot have had at least a little hair on their toes. Yeah. And he had no hair on his feet and, and very nicely pedicured, glossy, you know, clear, but there was a sheen to it. And I was, I, I'm still a little freaked out about it. Was he, and he was the, uh, coach of a football team i don't know if he was the coach of a football team or not but he was older he had a white beard white hair that was a little longer um you know he had a hat on and it came kind of curled down under the edge and he was wearing overalls and a clean shirt and flip-flops and uh, full pedicure that's funny it was just odd it was just really really so so bizarre i'm still i'm like you know, it wasn't. I I know I've heard of guys getting the mani pedi with like the yeah. the clear buff, so it doesn't look like they're painted. But I mean, it was glossy. I'm sorry. I'm kind of creeped out by guys getting manicures and pedicures. So am I. Anyway, I once I don't know why I once tried to get Mr. Chaos to go with me to get a pedi. Yeah, and I think I mainly did it just to see if I could make him do it. I couldn't. He wouldn't do it. I was so proud of him and so turned on by the fact that he <laughs> refused to go. I was like, yes, you're so sexy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Keep the manliness. I love the manly. I, I really like, I like manly men that bathe. I Good know. hygiene is yes. important too. I was watching Ace of Cakes last night. I was having my mm-hmm. total, I'm going to melt down. I need to just be quiet. So I was going through my TiVo and TiVo had recorded uh, an Ace of Cakes on the suggestions. And I was watching it because I sometimes enjoy the craziness of the Duff Duffman, Duff Goldman, Duff, whatever, Duff's Bakery. (laughs) And until they were starting to make a cake for uh, an ear doctor. And he said something about how men's ears were icky because he didn't think that they cleaned their ears with Q-tips more than once a month. And Mr. Chaos happened to walk into the room at that moment and I told him in no uncertain terms that if he were to not clean his ears as regularly as he does I would leave him yes that's disgusting he cleans his ears all the time like constantly he's always cleaning his ears that's a very attractive quality in a man and I never realized it until yesterday yeah Mm -hmm. I agree yeah do you clean your ears regularly Sybil I do otherwise like if I don't I actually and you're not supposed to put it inside oh I do I do. I do too. How can people not do that? I put it inside Kay's ear too. I'm I'm like the I'm the swabber. Yeah, I do too. I do it to uh, Gilda too. You had to stop for a minute to think of her name, didn't you? Of her blog name. Yeah, yeah. her, blog, her <laughs> secret blog name. I was having this conversation with a uh, with a uh, my cousin Mai, whose full blog name I won't say because I can't pronounce it p- properly. But we were right. having this very interesting discussion in which she was grilling me on what our blog friends names or our blog friends children's names were yeah I was just like uh you know at this point I have to search to remember some of their blog names yeah it's a very it's an odd occurrence in the whole blogging world I remember there was I once a panic dreams of people calling me Sybil and me <laughs> responding to that in my freaking dreams it's, and it's very odd and then I wake up like it's I kind of almost regret calling it Sybil Law yeah but you just regret because not using of that, your real because name now I'm like I mean I, I don't know I tried to be kind of anonymous at first but now I don't really give a shit <laughs> maybe if you do the switch over which we haven't discussed with the blogging public but maybe if we do the switch over you should uh make the change and use your name or not your yeah. full name you know i i only use my first name yeah but mostly the reason i don't use my last name is for k's sake not for my own i don't give a crap yeah that exactly you know, it, it and it hasn't you know it's been my last name for seven years it's not like it's been my last name for my whole life so right but uh i was gonna say how many years have i known you 
but that's what I was just about to talk about because I thought I think it's interesting. We have a lot of friends in the blogosphere that we've made um, friends blogging, but you and I have been friends long before we started blogging. Yeah, but we've never met in person. Nope. Um, it is strange. It is strange because I'll be honest right now, I count you as probably one of my very, very closest friends. Yeah, you're one of my top friends for sure. Yeah, and not just on MySpace people we're talking about in real life. Yeah. Which is odd. Like, if, I mean, I turned to you actually before I turned to my, like, real friend. tangible <laughs> friends. Exactly, exactly. It's I'm going to get teary eyed and I'm not joking. Um, Sybil, (laughs) Sybil has been there for me through some things that I had no one else that were, you know, I I had Mr. Chaos. He was there for me, but there's a big difference between having someone there for you as a husband and having someone there for you as a friend. And when I went through some things, for instance, I'm going to be very serious for a moment. When I discovered that I could not have another child, it was really very difficult for me to deal with. And my friends, tangible real life friends were not in any way there for me at all. Yep. And uh, Sybil was there for me 150%. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Uh, now we Love. can. Yeah. Well, you've done the uh, same for me. So that's, <laughs> that's you know. Gosh. I, I would be there for you <laughs> come anything, really. And I now know. we it's- should be funny again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, but we can tell how we met. We have this very freaky friend who we both yes. love, who yes. uh, will never, ever, ever have children, but who has animals and treats her animals as her children. And uh, Sybil and I both had our daughters within three months of each other. We had no mm-hmm. idea who each other were. And she, I think, just didn't want to hear about our kids. <laughs> well, I remember I, re- I made up my own questionnaire. Uh-huh. Long before, um, like we were on MySpace. We weren't on MySpace, so it wasn't one of those bulletins. It was it before was, we joined MySpace. The emails, yeah. mm-hmm. and I was so tired of getting the same ones over and over. So I made up my own questions, and I sent them to our friend, and she sent it to you. Mm-hmm. And I think, and and she kept trying to get us to talk anyway. Correct. Or at least she would say, "You would really like my friend." Yes. Cammy and and I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, what does that mean to me? Yeah. <laughs> and then well, let me have another she, drink now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she just somehow we started talking through that. Mhm. And right away it was like we bonded. We did. It was crazy people, crazy internet it bonding. It really was. Lucky, <clears throat> lucky I am people. grateful for it. I am too. I really, I really, honestly don't know how I would have gotten through this whole like raising the child thing without oh, having you around. Because the children are crazy. They are, and not in a. I'm not saying like, oh, they're they're so crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's so wonderful. There are times that it's just absolutely wonderful, and I do love being a mom. But those children are freaking crazy. Yes, yeah, sometimes they're just assholes. Yeah, they are, and that's that's. And you and I were, I think we were both so happy to say, sometimes my kid is an asshole to each other too. Exactly. <laughs> and we, and we didn't feel the need to apologize or explain. No, I didn't have to know, say my any- kid's an asshole and it makes me a bad person. I was just like, no, my kid is being an asshole. <laughs> I'm yes. trying not to go insane. Please help me. <laughs> exactly. And I did that to you many times too. I think, I think that we have done that so many times I can't even begin <laughs> to count. How is six going for you? Hil- Gilda is six now. Yes. Kay will it's, be six in less well. than a week. I know. I know. That's why, well, we're going to send her something as well when the package comes out. But I don't. I mean, if I don't send it the same day, I'll never get to the post office again. You know how I am. I do. I know how you are. We were just having <laughs> a conversation over dinner, my mother and Kay and I. And Kay knew that I was going to come down and podcast with you. And she asked me about mm. the damn gingerbread person. Oh, my God. And I said, I'll See tell her. See how evil I am? I'm yeah, evil. You're holding things hostage. I think, Mr. Are you eating popcorn, Mr. Chaos? No, I don't want the popcorn, thank you. I, I smell the popcorn. I think he's made popcorn to keep uh, little K away from us. 
Nice. Yeah. Whatever works. Gilda's sleeping, right? She is. Yeah. That's nice. Well, she better be. If she isn't sleeping, she should be. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, pretty much. I let her watch some stupid mermaid thing uh-huh. that was on one of the kids' channels tonight. Yeah, we let and Kay I- watch Garfield. Oh, God. Gilda loves the Garfield. The the live action one with Brecken Meyer or whatever his name is? Yes. Yeah. Kay, yes. Kay loves it so much because there's this one scene where the rat is talking to Garfield and he goes, you better watch out for the popo or something like that. <laughs> he calls the uh, animal catcher the popo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have another painkiller. Should I try it and see if it's good? Yes. It has to be good. It has a little umbrella in it. I'm really nervous. I'm super nervous. I don't know if I made that right. Um, Let's just say that I'm the bartender in the house. I and used I, to be a bartender when I was a you know, young guy. Well, no, 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 no. You were not bartender. a real bartender. But I used to be able to make and concoct drinks. I was a bartender. Ew, what did you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You put way too much dark rum in is the problem. See, everybody. Really? We're out of the normal dark rum. No, I put And the... so we're using like the huge, Seriously? like the 180 or something. Did you do half and half? No. How much? I followed your directions. So you used the white. Yeah. So the problem is we have to I mix. I floated it. a tiny bit of rum mm-hmm. on top because that's what you do. So there's rum. That's not what I little... do. Well, that's you a. You put the rum in first, then you put the no, but, one ounce of cream. But in a good in, tropical right? drink, you float. A no, tiny... no, no, not in all good, not all okay. good tropical drinks. It's fine. Is it too strong? No, it's fine. I was just surprised. That's all. It's too strong. It is not too strong. I was just su- oh, I've got, spilled some. No, it's not too strong. <clears throat> I was just surprised. Seriously. It sucks. You don't have to drink it. No, honey, why didn't you make yourself a martini? Uh, because I've had one and a half, almost two. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I've had two. I, I'm on number two. Yeah, I don't do like ten martinis. This isn't the thin man you here. You put the lime in the coconut. Oh, would you like some more music? No, I don't want any more music. So while you were gone, we covered why I have this voice. In theory, yes. And did you talk about your job? We talked about my job as a telemarketer. Good. We talked about my job at the design firm, and we spoke very briefly of the fact that I spent my formative speech years in Texas. Yeah. And that I used to talk like this on the phone when I was a telemarketer, and the men really loved it, and the women didn't much care for it. Wow. Is that as sexy to all you out there as it <laughs> is I think to Megatron me? just came to life. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now that sounded like a growl. Oh, that was my triple noise. Can you do the Texas thing again? Okay, just take one big stiff drink and ask Sybil something in that Texas voice. Oh my God. Just slammed it. It was a big drink. Hold on, take another one. What do you want me to ask? What should I ask her, though? Ask her, you know, what she's wearing or something. I ask, ask me if I'm pitching hay. <laughs> or wait, what is that? How Tossing is that salad? No. Hey, Sybil, baby, are you pitching some hay? <laughs> Wow. You know, I, I think I think you should just do the podcast in that voice. It would have been great, like, last week to have Holly, you know, and just... I think you know. Mr. Chaos was a little disappointed because even though he knew that she was an expat, he still expected her to have a British accent. Yes. Hello, That's... this is Holly. <laughs> Hello, my name is Holly. Holly's here. La, la, la. I, I'm British. I'm actually I'm the fuck queen, I'm you not know? British. I'm Welsh. I'm from Wales. La, la, la. <laughs> That's what he was expecting, and that's not what happened. Well, we just lost our blog wife. <laughs> she's going to listen to this and go, oh, you assholes. <laughs> no, because she's not from Wales. I know. She's from the States. I, I actually would, didn't try to work that in the podcast, but I didn't get to. The fact that you wanted her to have a British accent? Yeah, yeah. We haven't had anyone with an accent on the show yet. I think mm. next week, or no, no, not next week, but the week after that, hopefully we'll have... Someone who was born and raised in the UK on the show. That's right, with a real, with a real, British with accent. a real British accent. Because Americans like that. They do. American women. Oh God, we love, so like that. I don't think he's agreed to it, but he's got to spend the last couple of days. Uh, my friend Martin is coming. What do you mean for he hasn't visit. agreed to it? Well, he has to because he's going to sleep exactly. in our house. He's coming for a visit, but he's coming during spring break, and so he could not get a hotel for the entire time. So he's going to spend the first portion of his trip in a hotel. In the last couple of days uh, at our house. And I told him that's fine. But he has to agree to be uh, 
a guest on the podcast. And agree to be compelling. Oh, he, I should tell him he has to be a compelling guest. Exactly. It's not just be a guest. It's like, and you have to be compelling. Mm-hmm. We should <laughs> think of some talking points. Maybe I can get him to tell everyone why it is that he allowed me to marry you. Uh, why is that? I, I don't know. I, <laughs> find out next week. on. <laughs> find out in two Dash weeks. See? In two it's weeks on teaser. Strange Love. Why did Martin allow Cammie to marry Mr. Chaos? Yeah, it's a bum, teaser. Bum, bum, bum. And you got one cool story <laughs> about the shoes. So that, that's that, disgusting. We'll talk but about that'll that be, that'll the sh- be on the show. So Maybe when we do that show, and he has his little accent, I will talk with my accent for the oh, whole show. Oh, nice! He'll like that. He's. What I do have, you think, Sybil? I like that. Texas and British. What do you oh, think? you're doing the, the Texas. Yeah. When, okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> when Martin does the show, should I talk with a Texan accent? Like, how would what would you say? Give us just give I us would a little say, hint. You're just horny. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll talk with a Texas and you accent. Would say, I'll talk with a Texas accent when Martin comes on the show the whole time. Martin will like it too, though, because he he thinks it's funny that I lived in Texas. You know what? You just don't put out with the accents, okay? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you She's a tease. Frigid with the accents. Okay? You want me to talk like this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm a little liquored up. And he's a whore for the accents, Sid. <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm, it's sad. Do you have any good accents that you can do? No, not really. <laughs> oh. I can't. I really can't. I don't I don't even get into the whole accent thing. I like to hear other people do it, but yeah, I'm not when no. I I was younger. Best I do is wicked bad. Wicked That's bad. Awesome. <laughs> when, when I was younger, I'd go um out to the bars with one of my friends and if we didn't want to tell people our real names. And it wasn't Martin? No, chick friend. Oh, okay. Um Kiki. Yes. Yeah. Kiki, which is not her real name, and I would go out and we would pretend our names were Kiki was her name, and I would say my name was Davia. <laughs> and yes. sometimes I would speak with a non-specific European accent. I would talk like this. We say non-specific, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of, um, how you say, European accent. So. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the men, they would buy it because they had been drinking and they uh, liked my boobies. So, uh, Davia, do you come to the Shanghai Tunnel a lot? I would go to the Shanghai Tunnel. Oh, you're supposed to do oh, He just is a horn dog, people. He just wants the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. Maybe later. In the bedroom. Megatron. Megatron. Bad Megatron. No, the bed is, Sit. The bed is broken. There's no <laughs> nothing that can happen there. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's sad. It's a good thing we have couches. It's literally been broken in. It's sad. It can be fixed though. I'm not getting rid of it. Although, when you, um, so everyone, when uh, when I mentioned that my bed had broken, which it has, one of the legs underneath we is broken. We were just going at it and at it. I mean, it was just like <laughs> it was just so like what, we were totally married, um, going how long to have sleep. We've been married like seven years or It'll something. It'll be seven years. Yeah, I mean, it was just come on, guys. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> It was it was you know like what? crazy. You're trying to be funny, but you actually make it sound like we have a horrible sex life. Oh, right. I'm by sorry. Sar- I didn't mean to. Just- no, seriously, by being sarcastic, it well, makes it sound like we off. never do it. Well, because you you're like, the oh, I'll do an accent for you later. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> years ago when I got the bed, <laughs> this is how much. This is how long Sybil and I have been close. Years ago when we got the new bed. Sybil and I shopped online together. We like to look at things together online. So if one of us is yes. looking at something online, we'll uh, message the site to each other. And we uh, looked at these fantastic beds on Overstock.com. Super fantastic. Super fantastic. <laughs> and it was this like cool thing that there was storage underneath the mattress. And it had like a hinge and it lifted itself up and you could store things underneath it. It had hydraulics. Hydraulics, exactly. Ooh, hydraulics. It was like so insanely nice. And I'd forgotten all about it until I mentioned that my bread, my bread broke, my bed broke. <laughs> <laughs> until I mentioned that my bread was I broken. Broke bread. We broke bread together. It was sexy. <laughs> um, until my bed broke, and she reminded me of the hydraulic lift bed that we'd seen online that I wanted so badly. I thought that comment was some like dirty sex comment. I was like. <laughs> The hydraulics? Yeah. <laughs> I've got I've I'm got your guy. hydraulics right here, baby. 
Well, no, I mean, you know, hydraulic bed, kind of, you know, <laughs> it's the, well, what do they call that? The sleep factor bed or whatever that sleep thing. Sleep number. Yeah, the sleep number. It's like, oh yeah, I've you know, got my sleep number. No, I've got my sex number. Is it? I think Bubble Winch, <laughs> I think Bubble Winch has a sleep number bed. I'm not positive. Really? I'll have to ask her. I think she's mm. going to do the show next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Man. Yeah, my number is seven. Man. Oh yeah, I bet it is, right? <laughs> Put your <laughs> ass right up in the air for the... No, those are the medical fun. beds. I don't think the sleep number beds. We'll have to ask her. I don't think the sleep number beds move. I think that the number means how hard or soft the bed is. Uh huh. Yeah. Everything I say is sexy to you. No more alcohol. No drink up here. You're being no, no. I can have alcohol. I don't no. know if he needs yeah. any more alcohol. What do you think, Sybil? So I'm not getting in the middle of that. <laughs> what do I look like? I'm doing dumbass. <laughs> So what? Are, what are, if you weren't if you weren't uh, recording with us right now? What would you be doing this evening? Um, probably trying to catch up on blog reading. Mm. Um, and uh, maybe going downstairs and talking to our friend Brody. Brody, who's, hang- <laughs> <laughs> who's hanging out with Mister Law, and uh, I'd probably become bored with that and come back upstairs. <laughs> So let me ask you, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to admit something horrible at the same time. Okay. I'm not going to admit that one really dark secret that we have about the TV show that we watch. Because that's just between you and me. But I have accidentally found myself watching this show lately. And I don't want to watch it. And it's like I'm held hostage by it. And I'm kind of upset about it. It's not that show. It's a different show. And I'm going to admit it on the count of three. One two three i watched the lipstick jungle you did i'm really kind of ashamed of myself but i totally did have you seen it no okay excuse me what the fuck (laughs) is the lipstick (laughs) jungle it's and i'm i'm really embarrassed that i watched it and and it's not that i watched one episode it's that's for the two guys who listen to this podcast by the way holly or miss burrow's husband i don't think he listens i think he listened to the last episode okay one guy that listens one guy to he might be that would be me now. that would be me as I'm editing <laughs> um so it's I think it's based on something by the woman who wrote sex in the city <sighs> okay yeah she wrote yeah she I know that she wrote it yeah I've actually seen Candace the people on the Bushnell. Today show yes, Candace Bushnell <laughs> and it's got um big eyebrow lady <laughs> and <Aren't> you <laughs> but see you know and then I the, know well, I saw them all on the uh, Today Show. Yeah. Ugh. And then blonde I, girl that has sex with a 25-year-old. And then... Yeah. Nice. And then um, girl that used to be on Beverly Hills 90210. So how is this different from Sex in the City? And who's the lesbian? Oh, oh wait. In hey, this show, sex two of the them City are married. Rock. I watched it for I two seasons. Sex no, no. In, in Sex in the City... On after The Sopranos. In Sex in the City, only one character got married. In this... In this show, two of the characters are married. Was it Cynthia Nixon? Oh, oh, wait! And the, the best part is that the the love interest for the single gal is the guy from Pretty in Pink. What guy? Andrew McCarthy. That's his name. Ew! I was thinking of Ducky. Okay. Oh no, I love Ducky, but he is on the I show with Charlie Ducky. Sheen. <laughs> Do not have this conversation. With oh, I wouldn't have Nana. sex with Ducky, no, but I would have don't friends have with this Ducky. conversation with Nana Chaos. Why? Nana Chaos. Loves oh, she loves the show Ducky. with Charlie Sheen and the Ducky guy. What's the Ducky guy's name? Ducky. No, what's his know. real name? One of those yeah, crap I don't know actors either. back in the eighties that we used to all watch. She loves know. the Charlie. What's that show called? My dad actually likes the show too. Sin Elmo's Fire. Sin no, no. <laughs> Daddy Chaos and Nana Chaos both really love the show with Charlie Sheen. Two and a half men. I know what you're. Yeah, my uh, father-in-law likes that show. So oh, he I does. Would never even try to watch. I it. won't watch it ever again. <laughs> I refuse to like anything that your father-in-law likes. See? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Hmm. So anyway, I found myself watching Lipstick Jungle, (laughs) and then I liked it enough that I watched it the next week, and then it was on last night. I watched it again. I don't want to like it. I don't even like it. I just can't help myself. I started watching that um, Eli Stone show. I don't know what that is. That is, this guy has like a brain aneurysm, and I think it's Angelina Jolie's 
brother, that one that wait, she wait, like made out with. Are you talking about New Amsterdam ago? or something? Do what? New Amsterdam. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's called Eli Stone. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. Is it on a cable network? No, it's like on ABC, I think. Oh, I, I, I don't, try desperately not to find new television shows, and I'm always <laughs> devastated when I do find them. And you know who's more upset? Mr. Chaos, who thinks I already watch enough poo. Mm-hmm. I really don't, though. I don't watch. You know what? I watch. I contend still. I watch less TV now that I have TiVo than I did before yeah. I had TiVo. Damn. Mm-hmm. Well, because before I had TiVo, I would just lay in bed looking for good shows. But what about Hulu? Oh, Hulu. I oh. haven't really used Hulu. It's actually live now. Oh, Hulu. They've actually opened it up. It's All right. Live. I'm going to say something. Hulu's the best thing that has ever happened to my laptop. <laughs> Hulu is so awesome. I love Hulu so much. I really do. I you love know, Hulu. You, uh, all I got to say is you should be on the Today Show. And they should introduce you as, and this week we have Consumer Whore Cammy. <laughs> I'm such hey, a Consumer Whore. Cammy, what are you doing this week? I'm watching Hulu. A little known Netflix. secret, a little known secret <sighs> about Consumer Whore hey, Cammy is, although... That Mr. you're a Consumer Whore? <laughs> no, I'm fully honest about my Consumer Whoring. Although Mr. Chaos completely supports my Consumer Whoring habit. He's the one that set me up with Hulu. He's the one that bought me the yes. iPhone for I'm Christmas. Your fix. I'm He's your... the one that... He is the enabler. He is totally enabler. my enabler. He hates it when I do the Consumer Whore Cammy posts. He thinks they're beneath me. Well, what? Not, not if you're on the Today Show or something. He doesn't like, you know, I do the the little series Consumer Horror Cami, da 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 da. Right. He doesn't like the Consumer Horror Cami posts. Hmm. I do them anyway yeah. because it's my blog and he can suck my non existent cock, but. That's right. You know. I don't tell you what I to agree. write on your blog. No, he never tells me what to write on my blog. It's true. He just doesn't like the Consumer Horror Cami posts. Like the time on Monday when I read your blog and I went, oh. Like when I was kind of like, we were kind of partying on the weekend and um, we talked about the penis naming contest and <laughs> you took me seriously oh, and the penis posted naming it contest to your blog actually. was totally his idea, but he was partying. He was drinking. Yeah, it was a good idea at the time. He, he and then when I read it really on the funny. blog, I was like, uh, this ain't so, such a good idea. <laughs> this is really uncool. So I, I liked it. I liked it. Everyone loved it. You yeah. thought it wasn't a good idea because it was your penis on the line. But everyone else, they they dug the I penis think, naming. I think Mr. Chaos is going to have to learn that he is blog fodder. He is. Like it or not. It's part of yeah. his charm. He's blog fodder. Yes. I'm respectful enough of the five, almost six-year-old that she doesn't want stuff blogged about, so I try not to. But, you yeah. know, he knew what he was getting into, so... I agree. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, let's talk about how you guys met, and the and we've you actually no, have no. never. We've already covered it. Oh, while yeah. I was gone. Yeah, while that you long? were gone, I Did thought you, you were going to say, like "Let's talk about popcorn. sex, baby." Let's talk about. I don't know the rest what? of that song. <laughs> let's talk about what? <laughs> it's a song. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. And I don't yes. know the rest of the song. Oh, did though. you guys do that while I was gone too? Yeah, I'll we had sex to, uh, while you were gone. Awesome. We did. Phone sex. Oh, or Skype baby. sex. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I'm all done. Sorry. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> That's hot. Um <laughs> That was hot. <laughs> no, we now, if you did it in a Texas accent. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever faked I'd have to an go orgasm change my pants. in a, I don't think I've ever faked an orgasm in a southern accent. I think you will be tonight. <laughs> I don't think I'll be faking it. <laughs> Thanks, Sybil. And that ends the podcast. It's too bad Sybil can never do a podcast with bum. us again. <laughs> nice. I think you've insulted his masculinity, She's like, honey. what did I say? What did I say? Something about <laughs> the fake? That <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I didn't even mean it like that. That's terrible. It is terrible. No, um, Mr. Chaos, you were asking something that wasn't about how Sybil and I met, because we've already covered that. Did you cover your mutual friend? We did. Oh. It was sweet. Did I tell you how I was reading to, like, a group when I was doing stations at mm-hmm. Gilda's 
school and I was reading this book and it was like they might have they might as well have just called it a tongue twister book it was oh, yeah. just I, I was having problems reading that day and you know how your mouth just gets stupid sometimes I, I totally do and <laughs> well it does to me quite a bit you didn't have bit. alcohol anyway. on your breath did you <laughs> were you just like mommy's a little wrecked right now mommy's <laughs> Sally says she says fuck go fetch my flask <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no so I'm like reading this book and I misread this word in the book and I don't even remember what the word was but I said bitch and I said it like bitch and 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 it wasn't bitch but I it was a I book was like, about dogs and only two of the kids noticed oh my god and the, the rest of them didn't even know and I was just like oh my gosh and I'm like I didn't that was a bad word because the two that noticed were like oh and then they started laughing and I was like oh that was bad I didn't mean to say that you know and it was just it was pretty bad mommy Sybil. likes this book on dog breeding isn't that yeah. nice why Sybil's no longer allowed to help at her daughter's school yeah then the stud mounts the bitch yeah it was <laughs> which, really bad you know which is totally not true I think I'm gonna out you and tell everyone you're a room mother I am a room mother I'm not even a room mother. I, I don't think I knew what room mother meant. Did you get conned? You asked me. You, Do what? You got conned. You got Pretty conned, much, yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. The room mother with the filthy right into it. mouth. Filthy, filthy, filthy. <laughs> yes. So if I had I all, did, though. if I had all the money in the world to produce my own show, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would take the two of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do a show um, that set some crazy town in Texas. And you'd be like these little southern Texas. In Texas. And Sybil would be showing up to room mother show, you know, drunk. It's like, like get mommy's <laughs> flask, sweetie. Check it out. Come on. You know, just like, you know, it, it just, I don't know. It's right next to the bed where it always is. <laughs> yeah. See? In flask-related news. I'm very lucky that when my mom comes to visit, she does the dishes. It's her. She considers it her I was job. Say she brings her flask. No, she considers it her job <laughs> to do so the dishes. Happy all the time. What? <laughs> my mom is so bitchy. That was an impression of your mom. I mean, she's a nice lady, but she's bitchy. She's a sassy little bitchy person. <laughs> and I'm person. bitchy too. Yes, it's a bitchy, it's like, bitchy it's house. It's like a bitchy house. It is a really oh, bitchy really house. Bitchy. Everyone little K is bitchy. Mike is uh, bitchy. I'm bitchy. My mom is bitchy. Everyone hears these podcasts and think, the chaos house is so wonderful and lovely and happy and joyous <laughs> and laughter. It's we like, are bitchy we're people. We're all a bunch of bitchy, crabby <laughs> bastards. No wonder so I anyway, fit in so she's, well. Exactly. She's doing the dishes because she considers that to be her job when she's here to do the dishes. So anyway, she's doing the dishes, and she takes my water bottle, my very special, nice, expensive, lovely water bottle that Mr. Chaos got for me. A flask. Yes. It looks just like a flask, but she nice. puts it in the dishwasher, and I walk in, and she goes, I'm sorry, sweetie, I didn't know. Does your flask go in the dishwasher? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mom, it's a water bottle. Uh, it looks like a flask, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. She actually said that? Yes. Oh, my God. That that's, is funny. That's awesome. It totally looks like a flask. That's it does. Awesome. But I only store water. One time I put iced tea in it, but I store water in it primarily. Yeah, right. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I and, love it. And you take it to school, so. I take it to school and drink water out of it. Water H two O. You know everyone Agua. there is Can like that is not water. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, oh my god, Cammy's a drunk. <laughs> okay, or or you know what? Yeah, forget, he, forget the Texas thing. His mom doesn't even try to hide it. Exactly. <laughs> forget the forget rock the, and roll, mommy. Forget the Texas thing. You guys could be the absolutely fabulous gals. <laughs> We're not British, and I can't do a British accent. Dude, that the, show is awesome. It was really no, very I, funny. I, I okay. got it. My God, I loved it. But wait, I want, Sybil, I want you to do a British accent for me. I can't. No. Just do one. Um, give me something to say. Oh, my dear, you look simply fabulous. Oh, I don't even think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you do a British accent for hello, me. Hello, Poppet. Oh, I can't oh, do it. Hello, oh, Poppet. Ah, hello, Poppet. <laughs> that was good. Did you ever? It's real, I'm really not good at that. Hey, stuff. did you ever it's start watching that. Doctor Who like I told you you should? 
Watching what? Doctor Who. No, I did not. Well, is it on the Hulu thing? No, Mr. Chaos, plug your ears. Why? No, plug your ears. <laughs> Why? <laughs> plug your ears. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay, so you have to watch Doctor <laughs> Who because, well, so you know there were eight doctors in the old yes. days. It's about how David Tennant is sexy. Uh, yeah, it's not just about how he's sexy. It's about he may have talk a about his member. I have Megatron. What? <laughs> okay, it is true. He does. Mr. Chaos has Megatron. Oh, he, Mr. Chaos has taken my sonic screwdriver. Oh my God, he's so sexy with the sonic screwdriver. <laughs> Did you write something only you can see on his forehead? No, I left the no, no, no. That the UV ink is harmful to human skin. It said so on the packaging. Oh, really? So yeah. anyway, so there were eight doctors back in the <clears throat> olden days when you had to churn butter by yourself. Right. And then, and then they had the new doctor who I loved and who he was just fabulous and I adored him but I did not want to have sex with him but he was fabulous anyway and then yeah. they got rid of him because you know there's been so many doctors and the doctor regenerates which you don't know because you don't watch Doctor Who I know I suck and then I so they watch TV you have to watch Doctor Who and then they get the new doctor and I'm very confused because I'm like there's something slightly cheeky and sexy about the new doctor but he looks very familiar <laughs> and I can't figure out why so I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. And then at the end of the first episode with David Tennant as the doctor, he licks his teeth. Nice. And suddenly I go, oh my holy shit. <laughs> it's the evil, evil Barty Crouch Jr. from the Harry Potter movie. What? Which you also, you don't watch Harry Potter either, right? No, I love the Harry Potter movies. I've, I've okay. just never read the books, which is odd for me. Okay, so you know the Harry Potter movie with the Goblet of Fire? Yeah. You know the shape-changing dude? Yes. So at the end, when the big, the teacher dude, I'm so yeah. articulate, changes back into Barty Crouch Jr.? Kind of. And he starts, he's like the evil guy? He's Yeah. That's, yeah. that's David Tennant. That's the newest Doctor Who. Okay. All right. All right. And he was not... How do I watch this? What channel is it on? I watch it on the Sci-Fi channel. Oh, it's on the Sci-Fi channel. Okay. It's also out on DVD now. So do you have Netflix? I do not. You kept trying to get me to sign up for that. I just... I never watch movies. You know what? I've I've gone from watching Netflix all the time when I didn't have TiVo to now that I have TiVo, I get one Netflix at a time. I totally reduced my account because it's not as useful to me. Because I watch TiVo now. But every, I think it's every Thursday or every Friday morning at 5 a.m. or something, it's on the Sci-Fi channel. So TiVo picks it up for me. But I've seen all those episodes. David Tennant, I can't help it. I just think he's the sexiest damn thing. It's not my husband because my husband is really, and I know that just because my husband edits this, you guys think I'm saying this. I really do. (laughs) I'm very attracted to my husband. But aside from my husband, I love David Tennant. But Doctor Who stirs your loins. And it's not that he's David Tennant. It's that he's Doctor freaking Who. And he's got the TARDIS. And he can travel through time. And he's got the damn sonic screwdriver. And the sonic screwdriver makes him all powerful and sexy. I love it. It's very difficult for me. He needs to get a little, you know, cami love. Although, oh, David Tennant. Doctor Who. I don't think I'm as attracted to David Tennant as I'm attracted to Doctor Who. Understood. As David Tennant, though, not the other Doctor Who's the other Doctor too. Mm-mm, no, with the coats and the. We furby. were talking about Sex in the City earlier. Yes. And I, you knew that I loved Mr. Chris Big. Noth. And is uh, that how you? Is it Noth or Noth? He's an attractive man. No. He's an attractive man. He's got the but gray he's hair. Not. Like, That's after, the kind of attractive I've seen man. Him on I like. other things, and I'm just like, eh. You know, I liked Mr. Big. You know what? I, I actually think he's in tra- I like that kind of unusual. He's got the very prominent nose and the sexy gray hair and the very prominent. You know who he looks like? Who? <laughs> he looks like Mr. Law. <laughs> I'm not attracted. I've seen Mr. pictures Big. of your husband. I, I'm not attracted to your husband. No. I'm not saying that he's not attractive. I'm saying I'm not attracted to him. Yeah. But he's totally got the big nose uh-huh. and the dark hair. And it's he's got the thickest hair you've ever seen. But he doesn't seen. have gray hair. Chris Snoth has gray hair, and I think that's sexy. Oh, Mr. Law has total gray hair. Does he? 
Yeah, Every picture is, I've seen, it's always brown. His hair brown. is black. It's totally black, and then he has lots and lots of just pure white strands. Does he dye his hair? No. Although he wants to. I just won't let him. Oh, really? I tried to yeah. stop Mr. Chaos from dyeing his hair. He he ignores me. He dyes oh, it anyway. See, He's so I sexy when he has red. gray hair. Mr. Law totally has the salt and pepper. I mean, lots. I'm jealous because Mr. Chaos ignores me, and he dyes his hair. See, that's not cool. No. <laughs> I'm beyond salt and pepper, I think, at this point. No, it's salt. Yes, it's true. He has salt for hair. And it's that's very okay. sexy, ladies. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. He should stop. It is good. Although, I'll be honest, I have no idea. I could have gray hair, but I won't ever know because I dye oh, my hair. come on. You don't have gray hair. Just I, I dye my hair. I've been dyeing my hair for so long. How freaking old are you? You're like, what, 17 or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's illegal, honey. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. 18. Jailbait. <laughs> and a half. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't know what color my hair is anymore in real life because I've been dyeing it for so long. But I love my hair. I like it. I feel natural the way it is when it's dyed. And when it's not dyed, I feel freaky. Why would you think you had gray hair? Are I have you no, nuts? No. I said I have no idea if I have gray you hair. Have no I gray might hair. have gray hair because my child is driving me insane. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that what I happens? I found one gray hair and it was like weeks back and I plucked it out. Really? You know what? I found yeah. new gray hair somewhere. Is, is your hair, uh, do you dye your hair? Um, I, I used to all the time, but becoming a mom kind of made me lazy. Right. So this is it made every, you lazy. Everything you see, it's my natural color. But you have like a dark. Any, you have dark hair. I do. It's yeah. not real dark. It's you know. And you have but brown. you have one gray hair. Yeah. Wow. I was not happy that. So how old, have we gotten into? <laughs> how old are you? She's younger than I you am. Are. I'll be thirty-seven. <laughs> Honey, everyone's younger than I am. <laughs> Mr. Chaos is as old as, as dirt. dirt. Um, you, that's thirty-seven. That's pretty I'll be good 37. to have. That's good. One gray hair. So that, wait, when good. I'm 37, I'm gonna have gray hair. One. I have yeah, a gray hair. Isn't I know where it, like it is too. I don't want to discuss one. the location of it. Oh, do the carpets match the drapes? What? What? <laughs> no, the carpets <laughs> have one gray hair. I found it. Wait a minute. Look for it. Look for it, Miss Burrows. Vagina. <laughs> My vagina <laughs> is not growing hair. Oh. My vagina is inside of my body. Well, it would if you were using a <laughs> douche bag. <laughs> That's right. Actually, Lily of the Valley. They have like, have you heard of the Chia Pet vagina, right? Okay, we're not getting into the okay. Chia Pet. Chia Pets are really Ch-ch-ch-chia. creepy little... Chia, 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 Chia. You know, early in Chia my stop. blogging career, I posted a post about the fact that we got little K a Chia Pet. And it I, asked, can I tell a story about Chia Pet? Sure. This was, I believe... After you guys, we were, you guys, after you guys were married. Oh, um, <laughs> Sybil, I love you so much. No, I believe. What was our ceremony like? <laughs> yeah. um, I believe it was after we were married uh-huh. or when we were dating. Or it was like around that time. My mom got me a Chia Pet <laughs> for Christmas. Do you recall this? It was the Christmas right before we met. It was oh. three months before I met you. So it was, actually, we had a nice Christmas when Cammie and I met. The first Christmas that we spent together. Yeah, it was the Christmas the before that that your mom got you a chia pet. Anyway, um, <laughs> it, um, yeah, and, she, and and you met me, and then you were going through my drawers or something like you always do. Through the drawers, uh, trying to you know, <laughs> is there anything here from any other women? Throw it out. <laughs> That's no, so I, not me. I know it's a joke. Oh my god, I'm take be- it back. That's so I'm not me. I'm being a guy. It's funny. I'm it, a pig. It, it was a joke. I was being a pig. She didn't do that. But <laughs> but you found the chia pet. You found the chia pet. Cha, 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 chia. And you were like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, okay, my mom got this for me last <laughs> Christmas. Dude, you you sound this. like a douchebag now. My mom got it for me. And No, with the statement of, you said you always wanted one of those, so I got it for you. And I was that like, nice. Oh, mom, I'm <laughs> Super nice. 37 and you got me a chia <laughs> pet. You know, it was just like, it was so bizarre. Is that how old you were? And so I think we actually... Did did we try it out? Actually, it molded is what happened. Yeah. No, we, we bought K a chia pet and it molded. Oh. We never did oh, anything with your Gar- chia pet. Yeah. Okay. We got her the Garfield chia pet because she's obsessed with Garfield and, and it because didn't she grow it. and it grew mold. No, it did grow. Yeah. K's grew. It was moldy. And then it, 
after it grew sprouts, then the sprouts turned white, and the, I was like, oh. The sprouts, eh. the sprouts didn't much grow, though. No, her sprouts I would, were the same white. thing. I would it's walk in the kitchen. Suck. I would walk in the kitchen and go, Cammy, what the fuck is this? Can you please yeah. get this? If you're interested in our kitchen? real Chia Pet experience, you can go in over at my blog and you can just type in Chia Pet in the search and it'll pull and up your blog a couple would be at www.cammychaos.com. Wow. That was all for Mr. Chaos. He's such a little <laughs> child when it comes to that voice thing. I do the voice too. No, no. She, there. Well, I was doing voices before you showed you know up what? for the podcast. Sybil and I discuss things. There are things that are attractive about you. It's not that your voice is unattractive. You have other very attractive <laughs> qualities. No, yes. I do comedy voices. Oh, okay. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I thought you were thinking you did sexy voices. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Those are comedy voices. I feel better now. Even my better. sexy voice is comedy voice. Like, yes, it is. Your hey. normal voice I find attractive. However, when you start to try to sound sexy, then I just laugh at you. Hey, you <laughs> girls are good looking. Dude, I just looked at the clock. It's so getting late. It's totally late. Well, this is, I, I was going to say, this is sort of like inviting someone to a threesome with me with us with me <laughs> a threesome with you because i'm hung like a lizard like an alligator i've got two Dude, penises i wouldn't um, do alligators have two penises something has Pina, is it penises or i think peni? it's iguanas actually i think it was and jamie who peni, shared it right i think it's nah. i have no idea anyway. peni sounds right I, Three or more would be peni, right? No, no, two or more would be the plural. Anyway, let me finish the thought. It was like, you know, it's like inviting a three and just going at it and going at it until can't take it anymore. And then, you know, we're done with the with the podcast. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm spent. Yeah. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. The friction is starting to burn. Oh, I do. I do want to make sure because I got to go check something. I do want to make sure we cover one subject, uh-huh. and that is Boston and musicians. What? Yeah. Boston. Yeah. And the- musicians. Sweetie Pie, do you have any idea what he's talking about? From when I lived in Boston with several musicians. Oh, from <laughs> when you lived in Boston. I thought I was talking about in general Boston. I'm like, who? who's from Boston? So why don't yeah. you tell me about Boston and musicians, and then we'll, we'll say goodnight. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I lived with a bunch of musicians, and uh, I do have a good story of how naive I was when I got to Boston. I'd like to hear it. I, uh, I was 20 years old, not yet legal to drink, but, you know, I did in mass quantities every evening anyway. As to 20 years, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh anyway, so we I was leaving with three musicians, one of which was my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And we were going to the studio. Mm-hmm. And this was in Dorchester. <laughs> and <laughs> it oh my god, it actually it was right Dorchester is where the new kids on the block are from. Oh my god. And the new store kids on the block. For real. Okay. And the store that was next to the studio, they Mm -hmm. named it New Store on the Block. Oh, my God. No way. And that's where we would go and buy cigarettes and Mm -hmm. stuff. (laughs) Obviously. Anyway. So, um, we were getting into the car and one of the guys forgot some something. So, he ran back in. We were getting a cab. Mm -hmm. And so, the cabbie was waiting and I was running late as usual. Because uh-huh. I was the only girl, and anyway, so I, I came running These out. We lived in a late. basement apartment, uh-huh. and this dude in a wheelchair was there, and he was like the slobbering type, you know. So I don't know what was wrong with him, but you couldn't really understand what he was saying, and he was drooling the whole time. Mm-hmm. And he said something to me as I started to walk past, and mm-hmm. I'm like, "What?" You know, just completely trying to be nice, like, "Oh, it's it's a you know guy in a wheelchair." So I'm like, what? And he repeated himself and he said it over and over. And finally I realized he said, I like your hair. 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh, thanks. And then he kept talking to me, and I felt stuck, and the guys were waiting for me in the cab. And they're like, come on. And I'm like, dude, what do you want me to do? I'm talking to the guy in the wheelchair. <laughs> so, and he basically kept asking me if I liked puppies or kittens, either or. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, yeah, who doesn't? And he was trying to get me to go with him. Mm-hmm. And finally, he kept saying something. And I was like, well, you know, I got to go. Like, my friends are waiting for me. And I, he kept saying something. And I said, what? <laughs> what? And I couldn't understand him. And I'm starting to get pissed off. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, dude, I don't have time for your shit. I'm sorry that you're in a wheelchair, but whatever. And finally, I'm like, I realized that he was saying, do you like to give oral? And I fucking flipped out on this guy. I flipped out on him. I was just like, you fucking asshole. I mean, I really went off on this guy in the wheelchair. And there were people going by thinking, look at this girl, like, totally yelling at the dude in the wheelchair. You know, it was it was pretty bad. And all the guys waiting in the cab were just losing it, laughing. So that was one of my early Boston experiences. <laughs> do, now, now, I know you don't do accents, but do the Boston accent for us. The Dorchester? Oh the my Wicked God. Bad? You're so cute with the Wicked Bad. <laughs> I can't do it at all. There was, they all said Wicked Bad. It was just so... Uh, Boston I, accents. I had a friend who lived in Boston for a long time and in the Hillbilly, and he used to say Wicked Bad all the time. I always thought it was so funny when he said it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it at all, but I thought it was so funny when he did that. It is. It's a good term. It, it was is. a good town. Good times. Good times in Boston. And I ended up doing all those musicians. <laughs> <laughs> at different times. You know what's different between you and nice. I? Is I, I literally sought to avoid doing musicians. I'm imagining you doing all those musicians. Although I married But all at once. (laughs) Yeah. The orgy of Sybil and the music. (laughs) Pizza Boy. Ooh, Pizza Boy. Yeah, Pizza Boy is not (laughs) sexy to me. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's our ending music. (laughs) There's our goodbye music for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a swell time. Join us again next time for Strange Love with your host, Cammy Chaos. Good night. Aren't you going to say nice good night to Sybil? Yeah, I was going to say good night to Sybil later. <laughs> Whatever. I love you, Sybil. <laughs> Wicked bad. I love you Wicked, too. Wicked bad, baby. Wicked bad. Yeah, you do the accent for me. I'll pretend I'm saying it. I'm going to lip sync. You say wicked bad, and I'll move my mouth. <laughs> okay. Ready? So- yeah, one, two, three. Wicked bad. Now, if only we had a video podcast, that would make sense. Yeah, it Don't would. Don't get me started. Okay. Well, good night. Sybil, say good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Good night. You've been listening to Strange Love, the Cami Chaos Podcast. Oh, my God. Mr. Chaos is overly dramatic. Good night, With- all. Your host, Cammy <laughs> Chaos, with special, special guest, Sybil Law. Oh my god, my credits are so long. They're so long. <laughs> Join us next week for another intriguing episode of Strange Love. He kind of sounds like the Twilight Zone guy. Yeah, he oh, does. There you go. He kind of does. Two microphones and Skype. <laughs> Can't do it now. <laughs> okay. I really have a pig nose. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <gasps> oh, that okay. That, that was, reference. That was beautiful. And you know, people beautiful. are gonna hear this podcast and go, "What? In the, I don't get the reference. I don't." <laughs> episode one ninety four, the Twilight Zone. Please go check it out, no. or whatever it is. I don't know. It's not episode yeah. one ninety four. Mister Chaos speaks from his. As do we all. The problem is, Sybil, you're just not beautiful. Oh my god. Like I said before, longest credits in history. Good night. Good night. Good night.